Hello everyone, welcome to the 12 Bravo channel. Today we're going to be talking about AirPod Maxes and how to spot a fake. Okay, there's tons of fakes out there right now. Some really cheap and obvious and some really expensive and not so obvious, okay? So we're going to go through five steps and this comes direct from Headphone Honesty. Uh, it's a website online that you can check out and read yourself about how to spot fake AirPod Maxes. The first test is to do the software test. Now in iOS 16, uh, Apple put a verification test in uh, to spot fake AirPod Maxes. It's not foolproof, but it's the first way to check. So as I pull these out of my case, let me unlock my phone. So as I pull these out of my case, this should pop up on here. AirPod Maxes, okay? Now another thing, you can go even further by going into settings and clicking on your AirPod Maxes, and then you can see um, all the settings that you can change on the AirPod Maxes. It'll tell you the serial number, it'll tell you um, whether your coverage is expired, it'll tell you all kinds of stuff in here, so that's another way to check as well. Okay, now materials used. Uh, uh, between real and fake AirPod Maxes, now check out the case first. Now the case should be very soft. The inside's like a soft, kind of like a suede material. Okay, and it also says in here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try and shine a light on it. But down here, there's some writing that says designed by Apple in California, made in China. Okay, and that should be very bold. On some of the, like the silver ones, the white cases, it'll be very obvious. The black ones, is kind of hard to read. Also on the inside, you'll have magnets right here, and that's what turns the uh, headphones, the AirPod Maxes, into a low state power uh, mode. So, and then you should have a magnet on the on the clasp as well, okay? And then the, back's, the back just looks like that. All right, now as far as materials are concerned, these should be anodized aluminum on the outside, okay? Should feel very nice and soft to the touch. Um, they should, you know, kind of make this sound when you clack them together. Um, the headband is stainless steel, and these should move very smoothly without any clicking, okay? And should stay in place once you set them, all right? Uh, another huge telltale sign is the digital crown. Spin that and make sure that it spins smoothly, okay? It shouldn't be clicking around or anything like that. It's not a button. So, well, it is a button, but it shouldn't be clicking around on there, and it should it should spin nice and freely. And the button, the noise canceling slash adaptive or uh, ambient noise button, shouldn't be a clicking button either. It should be nice and smooth to the touch as you push it down, okay? The headband should not squeeze together, all right? Should be nice and stiff like that, and the mesh should be concave down like that. And you can see by pushing on the mesh that it returns to place too after after you let it go. All right. Um, also on the design are the ear cups. You want to make sure that the left and right is stitched on there. The the R and the L is stitched on there. And when you take the ear cups off, you should see a left and right lettering on the inside as well. Another telltale sign is that the fakes oftentimes don't have these holes in the top here and here. I believe those might be the microphones. I'm not 100% sure. And then you should have um, some lettering here as well down on the bottom on the right ear cup. Some lettering here on the, on the top of the right ear cup and as well as on the bottom of the left ear cup. And the serial number is actually on the bottom of the left ear cup at the top here is in the bottom of all this writing. So type that in into Apple's warranty checker and it should tell you um, how long much warranty you have left, if any. And then if it's within, I think, 30 days of purchase, you can buy the Apple Care Plus. So that's another way to tell. Um, another huge telltale sign where fakes will try to save money is on the screws. These four screws that are on each headset, okay, um, they are, um, on the fakes, they're Phillips screwdrivers. On the reels, they're hex screws. 
okay you need a special tool to take those out that's just another another way to kind of tell that they're fake is if these screws are phillips that's just a cost saving feature you know they just lazy for whatever reason don't put them in there all right um, and these obviously should be magnetic as well and just magnet into place and i'm trying to think of what else um now i almost bought a pair of fake airpod maxes um and i'll tell you what happened is the guy came with the package he wanted 250 it was still wrapped in plastic i looked at the package it even had a serial number sticker on it and everything i took it off opened it up and the packaging because i had watched unpacking videos on youtube was not the same these were not wrapped in paper like the one on youtube and the ear cups did not have plastic inserts in them like the one on youtube and the cellophane wrapping or the or the plastic wrap on the on the outer ear, ear cups were haphazardly put on and all crumpled up and when i turned the digital crown that clicked instead of spun like that so i could tell immediately that they were fake and uh, i was just like no thank you on that uh, and the final test is just sound quality. Throw them on and listen to them. If it passes all five, if it passes all of those tests, if you look at them, compare the materials. The best way is to borrow a pair from someone that you know, and compare, you know, compare the the real ones with the fake ones, and you can see you'll be able to see right away that you know whether they're fake or not, unless they're like extremely extremely good counterfeits. So um, that's the best way to tell. But the final test is just throw them on and, and listen to the sound. Now there are spatial audio tracks on on uh, on the music app. So like you can see here, made for spatial audio, Dolby Atmos. And all you got to do is uh, go to the music app in Apple and search spatial audio, and this will come up. And you should be able to hear the difference when you turn your head while you're wearing the headphones because these, these do have accelerometers in them that's another area where they're going to cheap out on and not reproduce these do have accelerometers on them so when you turn your head the music's going to change and surround your head around you like that okay and it'll get louder like if you're turning your head to the left the stage is you know closer to your right ear so it's louder in this ear cup or the singer will you'll hear the singer more on this end than on your left end things of that nature so sound test will be the final proof and you know um if you still aren't sure and you know don't want to take the risk just meet them at the apple store meet them at the apple store and say hey are these real airpod maxes i'm buying these off someone can you verify that these are real so it might be slightly inconvenient for the apple employee but i'm sure that they'll you know to be nice that they'll you know go ahead and verify them and just be like hey i'm here i, I want to see if i can buy an apple you know apple care on these and i want to see if they're still eligible for that and if they're in fact real airpod air maxes or airpod maxes so that's it that's how to spot a fake from real don't waste your money i hope you guys don't get scammed out there you guys stay safe and take care